Ever pondered on how to manipulate any situation to your advantage? Well, today we delve into the fascinating realm of psychological tricks. Our minds are complex labyrinths, operating in ways that often leave us baffled. But what if we could decode some of these mysteries? What if we could use simple tricks to influence situations or even alter people's perceptions? Today, we're going to explore how to do just that. From disarming someone's aggression with a little verbal jujitsu, to using silence as a tool to extract more information, these tricks are not just intriguing, they're also immensely practical. They can help you navigate social situations with ease, transform your interactions, and maybe even give you that much needed edge in your personal and professional life. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. So use these tricks wisely. Stay tuned as we reveal the first psychological trick. Our first set of tricks revolves around managing social interactions. Now imagine someone is getting aggressive with you. A clever way to diffuse the situation is to say a string of real words that, while they sound right, don't necessarily make sense in the context. This unexpected confusion can often throw the person off balance, causing them to lose adrenaline and calm down. Next, let's consider a situation where you need some peace and quiet. If you don't want people to talk to you, try wearing noise-cancelling headphones. Even if you're not listening to music, this visual cue often deters others from striking up a conversation. Now, let's talk about procrastination. Instead of thinking about what you want right now, try thinking about what your future self would want. This shift in perspective might just give you that extra boost to stop procrastinating and go to the gym, finish that report, or tackle any task you've been putting off. And what about improving your relationships? Every time you see someone you know, smile and say hello. This simple act of friendliness can make others see you as a nice person, and they may be more likely to help you out in the future. Finally, let's address tense moments. If someone is mad or annoyed at you, give it a few minutes of silence and then ask a seemingly innocent question related to the other person's interests. This can get them talking, allowing you both to move past the tense moment and back into a more comfortable conversation. Fascinating, isn't it? Let's move on to some more intriguing psychological maneuvers. Now let's explore some tricks that can help you manage your own mood and mindset. Firstly, consider the power of music. Have you ever noticed how a particular song can transport you back to a specific time in your life or instantly change your mood? Well, this is no coincidence. Music has the power to shift our mentality. So, if you're feeling low or need some motivation, listen to the music you'd want to hear if you were in the mood you want to be in. It might just give you that little push you need. Next, let's talk about the art of encouraging others, particularly those who are shy. When someone shy is speaking, looking at them, making eye contact and nodding can provide them with the reassurance they need to continue. This simple act of affirmation can help them feel heard and valued, promoting better communication. Now let's move on to a trick that's all about fostering positive relationships. It's often said that what you say about others says a lot about you. Well, it turns out that saying good things about people behind their backs can actually work in your favour. It not only helps you avoid drama, but also makes you more likeable. This simple act of kindness can have a ripple effect, creating a positive atmosphere around you. Finally, we come to a trick that can help you navigate tricky situations. If you're trying to get someone to put their guard down, or perhaps playing a game that requires you to bluff, a good laugh is your secret weapon. Laughter has a unique way of breaking down barriers, making people more likely to be honest and vulnerable. So, whether you're trying to win at poker or simply trying to connect on a deeper level, remember that a shared laugh can go a long way. And that concludes our second set of tricks, but we're just getting started. Our next set of tricks will help you subtly influence others. Let's dive into the first trick. Do you find it hard to get someone to lower their guard? Perhaps you're playing a game that requires you to bluff. The secret here is laughter. It's true. Laughter is not just the best medicine, but a potent tool to disarm others. When people laugh, they are more likely to be honest and vulnerable and less likely to bluff or lie. So, crack a joke or two and watch as their defences come down. Moving on to the next trick. If you're eager to extract more information from someone, 
employ the power of silence. It's human nature to fill silence with words. So the next time you want someone to reveal more, simply stay quiet. They'll usually fill the silence by giving you more information. Remember sometimes saying nothing is saying a lot. The third trick is particularly handy when you're dealing with excuses. If someone is trying to spin a tale, stay silent. The lack of response can make them nervous, compelling them to talk more. As they do, they might talk themselves into a corner and lose confidence in their story. It's fascinating how silence can be louder than words, isn't it? The final trick for this set is a great way to avoid being called on in class or during a meeting. Make sure to look at the speaker until the end of their question, making eye contact if possible. Then just as they're about to pick someone to answer, shift your gaze to someone else. This will divert the speaker's attention, making them likely to call on the person you're looking at. It's a subtle shift, but it can make a world of difference. Intriguing, right? But wait, we have more to reveal. In this final set, we'll look at some tricks that can help you navigate tricky situations. Let's dive right in. The 13th trick is a nifty one to de-escalate a situation when someone is emotionally distraught. Ask them questions that involve numbers, such as their address or phone number. This taps into a different part of their brain, pulling them from an emotional state into a more logical one. It's a subtle shift that can make a world of difference in calming them down and moving the conversation forward. Moving on to trick number 14, and it's all about softening your language. Instead of saying, I know, try saying, you're right. This simple tweak in phrasing can transform an interaction. It takes the focus off of you and places it on the other person, making them feel acknowledged and smart. This not only makes you seem less of a know-it-all, but also fosters a more cooperative working relationship. And finally, the 15th trick, and it's a real gem. When you're posed with a tough question, respond with, what a good question. This does two things. Firstly, it buys you some time to think of a suitable answer. Secondly, it plays into the questioner's ego, making them feel appreciated for their insightful query. They'll be so pleased with themselves that they may not scrutinize your answer as critically, and in some cases, they might not even fully pay attention to it. These tricks are not about manipulation in a negative sense, but rather about understanding the human psyche and using this knowledge to navigate social interactions more effectively. The principles behind them are rooted in psychology and they can be incredibly powerful when used with care and respect for others. And with that, we conclude our exploration of psychological tricks for today. We've journeyed through an array of psychological tricks today We've seen how to diffuse aggression by using nonsensical sentences and how silence can be a powerful tool to extract information or de-escalate a situation. We've learned that considering our future selves can help us make better decisions and how a simple smile can lay the groundwork for future help. We've also explored how making someone laugh can break down their defences and how acknowledging their points can make them more amenable to working with us. These are but a few of the powerful psychological tools that we can use to navigate our daily interactions. But remember, these tricks are not meant to manipulate others for our selfish gains. They are meant to facilitate understanding, empathy and positive communication. Remember, knowledge is power, but it's how you use it that truly makes a difference. Until next time, keep exploring the labyrinth of the human mind.